Hey everybody and welcome back to another video here at Whiteboard Medicine. Today we're going to cover a topic that's come up um, with a lot of you all in the past, questions in the comments and things like that, and that's going to be the difference between endemic, epidemic, and pandemic. These are words that we see quite frequently uh, ever since COVID and even preceding then, but uh, certainly ever since then kind of in the news and um, you know healthcare world, and certainly we have and continue to to talk about these terms when it comes to day-to-day uh, -day medical stuff or epidemiology or public health or virology or what have you. But we're going to talk about what exactly they mean because there are some really important differences and they're not always used accurately, um, especially when we see them written in some of these news articles. You know, um, There is some fluidity to these terms and one can transition in, into another, right? So endemic can become an epidemic, which can become a pandemic. A pandemic can become endemic. An epidemic can become endemic. And all this is going to make sense as we go through. So um, those of you new to the channel, this is channel Whiteboard Medicine. We are a medical education and medical news channel. Uh, we try to post every other day. Um, so definitely subscribe, hit the bell button, um, check out uh, the other videos. We'll link some interesting ones in the video description as well. Uh, we would love to have you. We also have a Patreon page uh, that we're trying to kind of buff up membership that we post almost daily in. So that'll be linked in the video description as well. Definitely check that out um, if you have an interest in joining some of our communities. All right, no further ado, quick 30 second break for introduction. Don't go anywhere. We'll dive right in. Hey everybody and welcome to Whiteboard Medicine. We appreciate you checking out the video. Here at Whiteboard Medicine, our goal is to create medical education content for all types of interested learners. That includes videos, practice questions, study resources, and much more. We would love for you to join our community by subscribing, hit that bell button. We're also working to build a high yield Patreon page. It's gonna be full of practice questions, video outlines, notes, commercial free content, and much more. None of these videos are intended to be acted upon as medical advice. Please pause the video here and read this disclaimer its entirety before moving on. All right, thanks for sticking around. So pandemic, epidemic, and endemic. All three of these terms describe how far a disease has gone, sometimes referring to geographic region, and other times referring to pace of spread, okay? The, you know, kind of most robust of these terms is pandemic, followed by epidemic, followed by endemic. So we're gonna start endemic and we're gonna move our way to the left. So an endemic is a disease that is established and that is present at kind of a basal level in a population, okay? It's a disease that um, spreads around that population but doesn't often uh, spread out of control. It's usually kind of contained in a smaller geographic region, but not always. And it often follows somewhat of a kind of predictable pattern. Case counts and things like that um, often follow a more predictable path of spread and pattern. Some examples of things that are endemic um, would include a lot of diseases that are um, not present in the United States, but things like malaria would be considered endemic to certain areas. Um, in addition to that, things like hepatitis B, this might be one that is more familiar to people in the USA, uh, is endemic to some regions, okay? Um, other, this often is used to refer to infectious diseases, but it actually can be used to describe um, non-infectious diseases as well. Um, but endemic is kind of this local basal presence. It spreads, but not too robustly. It's often predictable, usually in a contained geographic region, um, although, again, not always. This is in comparison to an epidemic. All right, An epidemic is when a disease starts to spread unexpectedly or quickly. So this is a disease that maybe was endemic or maybe was not even endemic and just uh, took hold in a population. So unexpectedly and quickly. Oh, that's how you spell quickly. It usually expands beyond a smaller region, but is still geographically contained. So let's just make up an example. Maybe instead of in a, a you know, part of a state, it spreads to multiple states in the USA. A geographic region. And the pattern here is often unpredictable, right? It's spreading rapidly. It's 
kind of taking hold in areas that are unexpected. So the pattern of spread is sometimes unpredictable. Examples of this would be, uh, again, not uh, in the USA, but Ebola has caused multiple ec epidemics in the past where it, all, it um, starts to spread very quickly. Um, malaria has caused epidemics in the past, although it's typically mostly endemic. Um, if anyone remembers Zika virus, this caused an epidemic. Uh, it was in a lot of the news, gosh, time all blurs together, but a couple years ago at this point. Uh, and then maybe a non-infectious disease example of an epidemic would be obesity in the USA. Um, started to spread rapidly, expanded beyond a larger, uh, into a larger geographic region uh, and was somewhat unpredictable, although now we're starting to get a better grasp on it. But all these are epidemics. So epidemics, if we were to think of it this way, are quote-unquote worse or scarier or more robust than when things are endemic. And both of these are in comparison to a pandemic. This is when a disease starts to spread even rapider. All right, so it's spreading incredibly fast, so very quickly, and extends into multiple geographic regions. All right, so if this was something that was contained in one or two states, it's now extended to the whole country, sometimes even the whole world. And this is a very unpredictable because it is spreading so rapidly. We're just going to say unpredictable pattern. And this is when it gets really concerning that it might not be able to be contained in a reasonable way. Okay. Um, again, this multiple regions, it's also, or sorry, often across the world, but not always. Um, if anyone remembers uh, COVID, right, was considered uh, pandemic level at one point. In the past, you know, HIV has been a pandemic, uh, different of like the big infectious diseases that you think about, like 1918 flu, uh, swine flu. These were all pandemics. So pandemics tend to be what we kind of think most about when we think about these incredible, uh, robust, rapidly spreading infectious diseases. Uh, but epidemics are more common and endemics are more common. If we were to continue this like progression, uh, epidemics can sometimes become pandemics. And pandemics usually start as an epidemic. Um, right, because it usually starts to spread uh, unexpectedly quickly in a more contained geographic region before it then starts spreading very quickly uh, and extending beyond that geographic region, as we saw with COVID, right? COVID started in like Wuhan as a epidemic, and then it spread across the world and became a pandemic. Using that same example, things that were pandemic or an epidemic can become endemic, you know, COVID-19 is probably going to just end up endemic. It's going to end up just spreading at kind of a basal level uh, throughout different areas uh, in a somewhat expected way, uh, hoping that it doesn't mutate or, or start to cause any issues again. Um, but things that are pandemic and epidemics can become endemic as well. Um, you know, the severity of each of these varies. And it depends on how you're thinking of severity. Right? If you're thinking of severity, uh, in severity in terms of death, all these vary. An endemic that is in a population of people sometimes can cause more death than an epidemic can. Um, it's just uh, severe disease. Maybe the epidemic doesn't have a high mortality rate, and even though it's spreading more quickly, um, patients aren't getting as sick from it as compared to something endemic that might be killing more people. Um, same thing with pandemic. Um, now, pandemic does not happen often, and often when it is happening, it is severe. Uh, but uh, these uh, words don't necessarily categorize how severe or deadly the disease is. Rather, they categorize the spread of that disease. All right, hopefully that was informative, helpful, and cleared up some of those questions that people had raised. Let us know what thoughts, comments, questions you have down below. Uh, subscribe, hit the bell button, check out our other videos, check out our Patreon page, all that good stuff. Uh, in any case, that will stay well, keep learning. We'll see you next time.